Boom, shakalaka, Star Wars, and Chewbacca. Jeez, don't look at me, I'm in my underwear. Anyway, today I'm going to uh, teach you how to get dressed. I know a lot of you guys already know how to get dressed because you've been doing it, well, your whole life. But uh, anyway, you need to get dressed up really warm when you're going out, out in the outdoors. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be going out, going out hunting with uh, a fellow that I'm going to introduce to you a little bit later, but uh, Big D stands for, D stands for deal, the big deal. He's going to take me uh, elk hunting, but I want to show you guys that you need to get dressed really warm in order to stay safe and warm in the outdoors. So first you start with your underwear, which is what I have on right now, long johns. Uh, you know, there's not a lot of skin here, so you guys don't need to be worried about this being rated R. My name's Pat Gunther. I'm rated PG, those were my initials. So anyway, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Um, first, I'll put my pants on. These are nice, uh, warm pants. These are snow pants. They have just a really nice lining on them. And these are gonna keep me really warm. So after I put my underwear on, put my snow pants on. And uh, so you got some nice snow pants on. Then, one of the important things to do when you're going in the outdoors for your excursions or just to spend any amount of time, especially when it's, when you're in a climate like we are here in Utah, is to layer your clothing. So I'm going to put on a shirt and then I'm going to put another one on top of that. And, you know, not a fancy shirt or anything, but I just kind of like this one because it's nice and, uh, nice and snuggly, nice and soft. Feels like a teddy bear. So I have a couple of layers on there. And then you want to have some really good socks. That's one of the things when I go ice fishing or spend any amount of time in the outdoors tubing, recreating, whatever, uh, my feet get really cold and then I'm miserable and then I have to go indoors. If I'm not wearing a nice pair of socks like this, Wool is some of the best stuff to uh, keep yourself dry and warm. So, boom shakalaka, Star Wars, and Chewbacca. I'm going to put these on. So, I got some nice socks on. I want to make sure that I have a really nice coat. This stuff, this coat, got a lot of down in it. If I puncture the hole, you see feathers coming all over the place. 80% uh, down feathers. Okay. And then I have a really nice, I can use this if I want to, or I've decided to use another wool hat. Make sure your ears are warm too. My feet and my ears, and probably yours too, are what get some of the cold, or some of the coldest places, coldest parts of your body when you're, you're in the outdoors for an extended period of time. So how do I look? I look great, thanks. Uh, anyway, so now uh, you need to make sure that you have some really nice footwear. These uh, boots here, they are good for up to like negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit is what the tag said on them when I bought them. They're waterproof. It's going to be especially good for ice fishing when I go out there and it's a little bit slushy. And then, when I go fishing, especially ice fishing, I, you know, when you're handling the fish and stuff, I got kind of a nice little uh, grabber um, surface on my gloves. You don't have to do that, you can just have like a normal pair of gloves. These aren't really fancy gloves. Uh, they're just kind of light, but I like to be able to feel things. Uh, so I just kind of have a light pair of gloves, but uh, it's up to you. And if you're smart, you can you can sneak a pair of uh, hot hands in your gloves. That's why I wear kind of a thinner pair of gloves because I can just go ahead and take these out of the packaging, shake them a little bit for 15 to 30 seconds. They last for about 10 hours, keeping your hands warm, and uh, they make some for your feet too. But these are only a couple of dollars. They're really nice to have. So I'm gonna cinch my gloves up. Yeah, and uh, there's one more thing though. If I want to keep my neck warm, 
Um, I can take out my scarf that's in my pocket there. And uh, I don't know, I'm not really a scarf person, but do whatever you do with your scarf. And uh, I'm on my way. So, boom shakalaka, Star Wars and Chewbacca. I hope you've learned something today. Click right here. Uh, I'm supposed to be pointing to my website over here www.emergencyfoodstoragepros.com Come on over for more outdoor survival tips and to get your emergency preparedness and food storage. So thank you and have an awesome time in the outdoors.